It is pouring everywhere, has been pouring, and will be pouring for the next four or five hours. This is now, I've said this three times in two weeks, this is the wettest day of the year. We keep upping it. <laughs> this is the wettest day of the year by far, and it will continue to rain. This is an opportunity to tackle the challenge of our time head on. Rather than wait for a natural disaster, the San Francisco Bay Area is proactively reimagining a better future that harnesses Bay Area innovation and serves as a model for communities around the world. There's no reason we should be funding pre-disaster projects after the disaster because that's when the funds are available. It takes leadership, it takes courage to do this. It took Katrina to start rebuilding New Orleans it took Sandy for us to start doing it in New York. What's at stake is really the functioning of our regional economy. Resilience is a huge part of the climate change work that we have to do. We know what's happening. We know the risks. But now we're looking for really what the solutions are. Resilient by Design provides solutions for communities, innovative designs that'll protect while at the same time providing incredible benefits and amenities as well. Based on the rebuild by design effort that was used for recovery following Superstorm Sandy, here in the Bay Area we are flipping the model to proactively prepare for disaster before it happens instead of responding in the aftermath. The reality is, is for every dollar that we invest ahead of disasters, we save about four on the back end. The competition shines a light on a reality that climate change is real, that there are going to be impacts, and a lot of communities are directly affected who aren't being a part of the conversation. And so it's a chance for us to make new partnerships. And I think we might be able to broaden the conversation on climate in a way we haven't seen in the Bay Area, maybe ever. We can prepare for the challenges brought on by climate change before we feel their biggest effects, while also addressing other urban challenges, including housing, health, transportation, and economic disparities. There's nobody that you should be listening to more than people in the local communities that are most vulnerable to climate change. It really is about all of us together in the Bay Area working collectively. We want to make sure that those community voices are included in the process from the beginning. Out of this process will come opportunities to not just protect this city and this region, but to make it stronger, to make it better, and to reconnect the people that most need to be connected. Nine counties, 136 municipalities that all share one precious thing, and that is this bay. We are strengthening our leadership through collaboration and creating a model for resilience that can be replicated throughout the Bay Area, California, and around the world.